If you spent time around other programmers at front of house, you may have heard them talk about HTTP and LTP. HTTP stands for highest takes precedence. And LTP stands for latest takes precedence. And it's gonna come up more often than you think. Let me give you an example of both. I have stored fixture one at full into two separate sequences, two separate executors, and I've set the mode to HTTP. If I then set fader one to about halfway, followed by fader two to around 70%, are the fixtures magically putting out 125%? Using HTTP, fixture one is outputting around 70% regardless of which fader was last activated. Even though I pushed up fader number two last, it's putting the fixtures intensity to around 70% because the fader mode is set to HTTP, higher than fader one, making fader two the winner. It is the highest of the two. So what do you need to know about LTP? I'm gonna build a color bump to demonstrate for you. I will store a sequence with fixture one again, but I will use the dimmer at full in each sequence and different colors in the color wheel. The fixed color wheel is how LTP was demonstrated to me and I wanna share it with you. So I'll swap from the color mix attribute to color one. The first color after open in the quantum profile is blue. I'm storing that on an executor here. The sixth color in the color wheel is red and I will store that in another sequence on the next executor. I've stored color and intensity in both of these executors, because I'm expecting the fader's behavior to make the color of the light blue when I use this fader and make the color of the light red when I use this fader. This concept of LTP or latest takes precedence means the last thing touched or added is the winner. If I push up the fader where I stored blue first to full, the lights have come up to full and turned blue. Now, if I push the red fader, even the slightest amount, the fixture swaps to red in the viz since that was the last piece of data sent to fixture one. You can also see in the fixture sheet, the output is at 100%, not by this tiny amount I've raised the fader by. The executors on the GrandMA3 by default are set to react as LTP. This playback behavior can be changed by double tapping the edit key and going to the edit setting menu for the executor. Check out the video on sequence priorities if you'd like to know more.